Hey, what's up, y'all? Time for another haul. All right, getting into it here. I got a book that is probably going to be very tough for you to find. I did find one online. I think you can find them on eBay. I think they're about $20. This is DC Direct Current number 85. This is one of the early previews for Preacher. I'm not positive as to when the uh, Preacher preview came out in relation to this, but I think they were very close to the, around the same time. So this is one of the first times. It, now I'm not I'm not a huge fan of books like these, like the the Marvel Age and the the whole just the ads counting towards uh, appearances and things. But the number one of Preacher and especially the Preacher preview, I've just gotten really out of control over the past year and with the pilot coming next year I think they said third or fourth quarter next year that I definitely see that picking up even more so a book like this will see some value in it now the funny thing is when I got this in the mail it came so I was came like this and I said oh shoot this is the back of it I said, oh shoot, I ordered the wrong one. And not realizing that it, it's a it's a flip book. So if you're trying to find this just by the cover, it may have the other side exposed in a in a book and you may you may miss it. So it's number 85. Um uh, and I paid I got a, a really good deal, 525. Not a I mean, I hate paying that much for a preview book, but Still not bad. And I threw this one in from the same seller. Harley Quinn number two from an original series. That was six fifty. I don't think that's a bad buy at um, with everything that's going on with Harley right now, Suicide Squad. Uh, so that was all I got from that that one dealer. Now or the one online seller. Now here are there was two sales this weekend at some local shops so I stopped by them and went a little crazy uh, this is this is from one shop that usually has some really good older stuff and he usually overgrades he, he grades pretty strictly so I usually buy his low grade stuff because it's a little bit better than what he grades it at and it's usually pretty cheap like this Avengers 59 first yellow jacket paid three dollars for it it's probably like a a VG. Um, usually, if it's something like that, he'll say, you know, he'll grade it as like a fair, or even, you know, even worse, like down to a poor. Um, good one to get with the Ant Man movie coming. Picked up a set of the uh, Ultron Unleashed uh, storyline, and those ended up being uh, three dollars each. So. 12 bucks for that set is a very good price. Cap number 209, the first full appearance of Arnim Zola. I paid $375 for that. He had it as a VG fine. You know, I'd say that's it's fair enough. It's a good price, I think. Fantastic Four. Here's a couple that have been on my radar that they're tough to find at decent prices. I mean, I think they've always been kind of popular. I paid, let's see, 385 for the both of them. Fantastic Four, 158 and 59 in human story. Um, you know, in humans, more do you need to say. Here's a, a really good one that I've shown before. I picked up my second copy. He had this graded as a fair, and I paid uh, 265 for it. Iron Man 54, first appearance of. The woman who later becomes Moon Dragon, so Drax's daughter, first appearance. And this book is really starting to see some attention because of the uh, just the the thought of her possibly appearing in the next Guardians. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Oh, Marvel Premiere number two. This was like a I don't know what he had this graded at, but it was a really nice copy. I thought. And it was only like two, I think I paid three dollars for it. I mean the cover is, it's a white cover. It's basically just 
starting to yellow and there's not not really any dirt on it which is very hard to believe for a book this age so really happy to get that one and had to pick this up again had this graded at fair I mean the staples are attached and everything I think it's probably a little bit better than that three dollars for Mr. Miracle number one Kirby goodness I mean gotta get that here's one that I had recently put on my list we had this uh, graded a VG and I mean like I don't really see any glaring issues for this thing to be a VG I mean look at the corner the corners look real good to me at least the only thing I see is this little bit right here where it's got it's a little bit of a tear I guess four buck or uh, what did I say I paid for that three dollars uh, Nova number four, great cover with Thor. I've been wanting to get this for a little while now, just because of the the cover, nice green cover. Uh, the cover is a little bit faded, maybe, but I don't think that's a huge deal. Let's see, what else? What else did I get here? Oh. Another uh, really big one right now. Power Man and Iron Fist number 50 has a subscription crease on it, but otherwise another very very happy with the book for four dollars and fifty cents. It's really hot. I had to get this for a dollar fifty, graded at a fair. Yeah, all right. This one I had seen at the shop a bunch of times, but I never wanted to to get it for four dollars, so I waited till it went on sale for three. Not a big difference, but. Uh, you know, Super Friends number seven. First appearance of the new Super Friends, the Wonder Twins. That's who it is, Wonder Twins. Good book to have. Hard, very hard to find. Uh, another one that's been on my list, and I, I think uh, I don't know if I've ever gotten. This might be my first one. I don't know if I've ever shown it. Uh, Five seventy for this one. Strange Tales one eighty one. The first full appearance of. Gamora and the first time that she's actually named in a comic. Strange Tales 180 is her first cameo, but she's not even named in it. So eventually I see this book really catching on a little bit more than it has. And here's like a current, a real, a real radar book, current one. Uh, page 225. Mighty Thor number 390. This is the first time that Captain America picks up the Molgineer Thor's hammer, however you pronounce that. And just because of that preview they released for the Avengers movie, where Cap kind of budged it a little bit, you know, there's some some internet chat, some rumors. Hey, maybe he'll get a little uh, action time in the movie with this. And this is the first time that he picks it up. Really nice copy. Glad to have that. So that was everything from that shop, I believe. Now. The next shop I went to is a is a shop that I don't go to very often, but because um, usually their stuff is all out of whack price wise. But I found a ton of great stuff. They had a twenty five percent off sale also. I got a Nomad number four for a dollar eighty. I just showed that one in my last video. Dead early Deadpool appearance. Got a. 260 for Avengers 257 first Nebula who's going to be in the next uh, She's going to be returning in the next uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie and He had two of them there. So I figured I'll, I'll take both those for that price really nice sharp copies Here's a book that I had been looking for for a while. I never really wanted to pay for it and this is a super nice copy Green Lantern Corps number 201 the first Issue in the Green Lantern Corps series and first appearance of Kilowog. Paid three seventy five. dollars Super white cover, super sharp. That one's definitely going in the personal collection. Very nice book. Here's another cool cover. Avengers number 223 with Hawkeye shooting Ant-Man. That was three seventy five for that one. That one's starting to see a little bit more attention uh, because of the Ant-Man movie. Amazing Spider-Man 360. I've shown this one plenty of times. I picked that up for three bucks. A couple more that have been on my list. A couple radar books. Detective Comics 359. 
and 360. This cover is awesome. First cameo and first, actually 359, she's really only in the shadows, but she is named. And then 360, you can see, five, sorry, 529 and 530. Uh, 529 shadows, 530 on the cover with the name Nocturna. Great, uh, great cover, great book. Could be a character that sees some attention in the future. So definitely pick those up at a price like that, six bucks each. Here are some hard, very hard to find end of the run Warlock and the Infinity Watch. 41 and 42, the last issue. I paid 450 for both of these. These are very hard to find. And they go for I can I've seen them sell for 10 bucks a piece. Very good. Very glad to pick those up. Another two books that are somewhat hard to find and sell decently. Picked both these up for 450 total. Spawn 174 and 75. First uh, Gunslinger Spawn. Had to get this one. Silver Sable 23 for 225. Early another early Deadpool. How about this? A, a very nice copy. I don't know where he got all these like really nice. Uh, copper keys from because I've been in a shop before and he didn't have these so he must have came into a nice collection uh, 225 for Daredevil 254 first Typhoid Mary kind of a hot book now picked up another one of these for 225 Captain America 359 first crossbones in the shadows another uh, great book to pick up if you see it for an affordable price is Marvel Tales number 99 and uh, it's a reprint obviously and what is this reprint is this uh, the the death of Green Goblin uh, paid 450 for it this is a book that I've heard was getting some attention Batman 66 number one he had a the the shop had a nice little fat stack of these and I paid four fifty for it. It sells for up to ten. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot right now, but probably just a good one to have if you can find it cheap. And six bucks for Alias number one all day long. How about this one? Star Wars one oh seven, the last issue in the run. Artwork is horrible, but paid seven fifty and this sells for at least twenty. In this condition, it's probably even more newsstand, so that's great to have. Um, and so, you know, I'm picking up all, a lot of good stuff, as you can see, at very good prices. The shop owner, I mean, he's a nice enough guy. He just doesn't seem to know too much. I mean, some of the stuff has just not been these prices for a while, and I'm not sure where he came up with this pricing, but I was super happy to find... For 450, a Miracle Man number 16, one of the lower printed books, and got a. I mean, I'm just ecstatic to finally get this in my collection, and at a super affordable price. Uh, number 15, Death of Kid Miracle Man. Just, it's a, it's one of my grails from the Copper Age. I love the Miracle Man story, Alan Moore. It's a tough book to find, and in this condition, I mean, it's a hundred dollar book, and I paid six for it. So I probably would have paid up to fifty that day for it, if not more. I've been wanting that book forever, so I'm glad to get that. Lots of awesome stuff at that shop. Um, I'll go through I'll go through some online buys as well that I've done recently. Again, just buying a ton of stuff recently. Paid a dollar fifty for showing this book, Marvel Team Up 103. Great cover, Spider-Man, Taskmaster, Ant-Man, Ant-Man movie coming, and I believe this is the third appearance of Taskmaster. So, a very early Taskmaster, crushing the Ant-Man. These I did not really know too much about. I kind of stumbled across them. Ninja Turtles special, fall and winter of '94, and I believe the winter is the last special that they produced and these are like numbers 10 and 11 something like that if if you go by the numbering um 
paid about five bucks each for them, five fifty each. Very tough to find, and I've seen these sell for ridiculous prices, like thirty, forty bucks. So I don't know. I uh, was kind of lucky to stumble across them. Uncanny two five six three fifty. Gonna pick that one up. Eye Zombie number two for two forty. We'll see what happens with that. Um, finally got one of these Global Frequency number one for two bucks. Not sure what that's doing right now with it being optioned. Cap two ninety for three dollars. Uh, first sin. Could be in the next cat movie, who knows. Uh, $2 for G.I. Joe number, that's number two? Oh, I thought it was number eight. Number two, the variant, Adam Hughes variant. Awesome cover. Glad to have that. All right, here's another radar book. Walking Dead number 67. Paid $14 for this. And the reason this has come to light recently is that it is the first appearance of a gay character and I can't remember his name but in The Walking Dead and there was a lot of speculation for a while that on the show that Daryl was gay and Kirkman finally came out and said no he's not gay but there will be one on the show coming in, up in the next season so speculation is going to be this character that's in uh, Walking Dead 67 and I believe he's only on the last page so might want to pair it with like 67 and 68 pick both of them up always picking this up when I can find it for a decent price eight bucks I think that's the most I've ever paid for it but it's a really nice copy first Thunderbolts so these are all online buys uh, Batgirl 45 shown that one recently three dollars Iron Man Incredible Hulk Nick Fury three dollar book that is like one of the early you know it's kind of there's some kind of amb ambiguity to when like uh this might be the first black nick fury in the marvel universe comics i can't remember exactly it's definitely an early uh agent colson i believe as well venom carnage unleashed part one three dollars oh, kind of a tough book to find i mean it's not great like art wise or anything and Venom Carnage number three for three dollars. Tough. Those got hot a little while ago, and they've been tough to find. Here is the prelude to the Avengers Ultron Unlimited books. Um, Wizard number zero of that Avengers run. So that's a a good one to pick up for the whole Ultron Unlimited story arc. And here's a couple more books that have heated up recently. Radar book, Superman Family 204 and 05. Uh, first full like Enchantress cover. I, I did talk about this last um, video as well. But I got number number 205 as well to pair with it. So some early, early Enchantress stuff. Hmm. I got another one of these. I didn't even realize it. Cap 209, 375 for that one. And this book I had been... Once I, once I saw it, I wanted it immediately. And I, it took a little while to find it. I saw it online. Marvel Premiere number 28, First Legion of Monsters. I mean, this cover is just amazing. Ghost Rider, uh, Man Thing, you know, Morbius, awesome. Paid at Werewolf by Night, I assume. Uh, 9.75 for that. Oh, yeah, it says right up here. I guess I should read it. So really happy to have that one in the collection. Awesome book. I don't know value-wise if it'll do anything, but I think it's a very cool book just to have. I picked these up just because I love the covers. $1.45 for Punisher number one from, uh, I think it's like 2011 maybe series. This is number one, the variant, which obviously has the uh, first Punisher appearance swipe going on. And these two just kind of came on my radar recently as well. 11 and 12 from that same series. Holy crap, I didn't even realize this. Look at this. Boy, I couldn't have planned that any better. It's like Legion of Monsters, Mummy. Just doesn't have Ghost Rider. That's pretty cool. Didn't even realize that. I mean, I planned that all along. That's exactly how I meant to do it. Um, and 11 is the first Frankencastle. The 
Frankenstein zombie, Frankenstein version of uh, Punisher. Cool books, very cool books. They are kind of like, kind of cult books, I guess you could say. Incredible Hulk 104 from the, the second series, obviously. I paid $2.25. Not quite sure what's up with this book. I've seen some some uh, online stores charging $30 for it, but you can still find it on eBay pretty cheap, so I'm not really sure what's up with it. I read through it. I didn't really see anything special about it, but it is part of the Planet Hulk run, so who knows. This one I got for $2 just because I love this cover. Hulk 267, just a, a really cool cover. Wrong end of the rainbow. Uh, the story in it's is kind of decent, too. I read through it. Amazing Spider-Man 404, again, just kind of threw this one in for $2.25, Spider-Clone Saga. Um, Flash, $2.86, paid $2.50. First appearance of the Rainbow Raider. I mean, another cool cover, all about the rainbows. Uh, Rainbow Raider eventually becomes, like in the next incarnation of the Flash series, it becomes Chroma Man. And Chroma Man will be on the second season of Flash. So this is first appearance. Flash 286 from the original series. Eternals number one. Paid $4 for that. Just a good book to pick up. Good uh, Kirby book. Who knows where Eternals will go. But with the cosmic stuff. Can't hurt to have that. Here's a book that heated up recently. Moon Knight number 57. And it's partly heated up because it's part of the Infinity Crusade crossover. So whenever, you know, I've said this before, whenever you have these crossovers, some of the people who just collect like the regular series kind of miss out because people are buying the crossover books also. So it became a harder book to find. And it's a it's part of the Stephen Platt run of Mark Spector Moon Knight and it's got Spider-Man. It's an homage to McFarlane's Spider-Man cover. So it's got a lot of things going for it. All right, Avenging Spider-Man 13. Could not find a 12, but 13 is good as well. Deadpool cover. 12 seems to be the one that's being more sought after, though. And picked up a full, a full run of the Black Panther miniseries. Very nice books. And, and I think I paid a dollar each for these. I've just picked these up because of the fact that... You know, the movie, he's got a movie coming. Um, this was not his first solo series. You know, he had one in the 70s. But, you know, I look at these kind of limited series and you look at someone, you know, I, I'm not, it's not really a direct comparison, but you look at Rocket Raccoon's miniseries and his was selling for, at the height, you can get 100 bucks for it uh, on a good day. But, you know, I don't see this doing that. But I do see some potential here for this to be you know maybe a $20 series once a little bit more hype starts building for Black Panther and his other books start getting ridiculously out of control so that was my uh, my in-store and online hauls over the past couple weeks so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching keep trolling those dollar boxes